Hi everyone. So today we will be learning how to create a resource or a room in Google Calendar. This is an amazing option that you have. Um, for example, we at the tutoring center now have two tutoring areas. So we need to make sure we let the tutors know what area they're gonna be going to. We have a red area and a black area, and I'm gonna be showing you how we can do that. You can also use this for your office space. I know I did this for a previous um, place that I worked at. I created, two, we had two different pods where people could take phone calls at, um, and people were able to select that in their calendar and be able to book them. So the first thing we need to do is on Google, you're gonna go to the right hand corner, right top hand corner. You'll see these nine little squares here. You're gonna click them and that is where all of your apps are. If it's not already on this area, you will go to more and click admin. That is where everything happens that is where you can administrate any users any new groups we can talk about those a little bit later your company profile updating that um, keeping track of the reports but what we're going to do here is you're going to go straight to building and resources in building and resources you'll see two sections the room insight which just tells you you know how many times a room has, has been used you don't know you do not need that right now we want to go to the top one where it says resource management click edit resources here you will see we already have my study tutoring and we have our tutoring areas that we created we are going to create our own building so you go to manage buildings and we're going to add one and we're just going to say new office all of the rest of this doesn't matter you can have a description where it says first floor or you can create um, you know you can add the address here I think we do need to add a description so let's just say first floor and one floor great so we see this here now address is not yet set you can always update that so let's click on edit building so after you have this here, you can go back to resource management. So after you have this set up here, you can go back to building and resources. Again, edit resources, and now you'll see the new office here. So let's go ahead and click on the new office, and we can start creating rooms. So we're gonna create this a type, so a meeting space, room booth. It would be a meeting space. Um, I would call it, let's just say phone booth one in the building. It would be new office, first floor, resource name, phone booth one. And then the great thing is you could put capacity. Let's say this one only fits one person. We can put one. If it fits four people, great, we'll put four. So the Google Calendar will be able to say, okay, you have invited four people you can go ahead and book booth one if, it, if that were the capacity. But right now we have capacity at one and then we'll do another one that's a little bit bigger. And then we could do conference room. And new office, conference, we could abbreviate that. Capacity, let's say four. And add resource. So there we go, now we have these two and you can always go back and edit or delete them if you're switching offices or you need you have a new space, you can add another um, room to that. Now I do want to point out that it usually takes about 24 hours when I first did this. I'm like, oh my God, where are my rooms? It takes about 24 hours usually. Sometimes it'll automatically pop out in your Google Calendar, um, but I will show you how that looks on your calendar and where you can find that. Great, so let's just leave it at three to four o'clock. And here you'll see rooms, rooms, rooms available. And here we have our black area, red area, and main room. And then down here, it shows the two different spaces. Let's click on new office. Oh, it already populated, how amazing. So here we have conference room, phone booth. So I would say, let's just do conference room. And then you'll have that right here. It says the new office, which would be your building. And then it says conference room, and that's for four people. And once you save that, it'll send the invites to everybody. And there you go. That is how you create the rooms and resources. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and make sure to follow and like. Please leave any comments if you have any suggestions on new videos and tutorials you'd like for me to do. Um, 
this page is going to focus on creating a business, how to run a business, but it'll also be focused on how to organize yourself and stay on track, project management, tactics, etc. So please follow and leave any comments with any recommendations. Thank you.